Tony Blair should turn down the Queen's offer of a knighthood after a significant public backlash to the announcement, according to a columnist. Over half a million people voice their opposition to the honor in a circulating petition overnight, calling on the government to pull back the knighthood bestowed on Sir Tony. The former Prime Minister and trailblazer of New Labour was defended on Tuesday by current Labour leader. Sir Keir Starmer, who rebuked claims that the former leader did not deserve the honor. The ex-PM, who was in office for a decade, received the knighthood in the New Year honours list. Sir Keir told ITV's Good Morning Britain, I don't think it's thorny at all. I think he deserves the honor. Obviously, I respect the fact that people have different views. Bestowing the knighthood on Mr. Blair has proved divisive after his premiership became mired in controversy. He was the prime minister who gained acclaim for his handling of conflict in Kosovo and Sierra Leone, but was condemned in public opinion by his decision to push forward with a war in Iraq. The military intervention had been justified by the UK and the US by reports of weapons of mass destruction, which were then not found, this discredited the Prime Minister in the eyes of many domestically and internationally. Sir Keir said, I understand there are strong views on the Iraq war. There were back at the time and there still are, but that does not detract from the fact that Tony Blair was a very successful Prime Minister of this country and made a huge difference to the lives of millions of people in this country. Daily Mail columnist Andrew Pierce did not agree, writing that, given the greed, vanity and folly that taints his true legacy, if Blair had a shred of honor he would have rejected it to avoid exposing Her Majesty to the controversy that would inevitably follow. Knighthoods are often given to former prime ministers, and bestowed by the Queen. Mr. Pierce zeroed in on the Iraq War and the scars it left on the UK after the invasion, which was deeply unpopular even before it was given the go-ahead. He wrote, Nothing remains a bigger stain on Blair's reputation than the war in Iraq, a war in which 179 British military personnel lost their lives, hundreds more suffered life-changing injuries and more than 200,000 civilians are estimated to have died. 